Flags I find beautiful. Today I learned there are only two countries with pink in their flags. Right, I knew the Spain one, they've got a sneaky pink lion, but then we've got pink cactus petals on the Mexico flag. That really is beautiful. I don't know if I've ever looked at the Mexican flag this close up before. It is so detailed. Look at the snake being bitten by the eagle. But yeah, that is pink right there. I see it. It's happening. The town is voting this month between two flags that I designed. Oh my god. So towns and even countries do this every so often. They don't have a flag or they want to change their flag. They let their communities design them and they vote for the best one. And this guy's designed two different flags and they've both made it to the top two. That is epic. I mean, this one is clearly the winner, let's be honest. But just a quick side note, if anyone out there ever sees this happening in their local area, please let me know. I want to design a flag, alright? That would be epic. US flag in the style of Iran. Do you know what? I like that. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit depressing that they've got big guns on there, but as a whole, the flag looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> Photo taken from a moving train in Estonia during the winter. Oh my god, it looks like the Estonian flag. That is literally epic. You took a picture of Estonia and it just accidentally created the Estonian flag. I love I suppose technically it's not really an accident because the Estonian flag is based on the landscape of Estonia. That's cool. I like it. Estonian flag, by the way. Beautiful flag. It's got to be like one of the best simple flags. Very nice. When in grayscale, some European flags are harder to distinguish than others. What do you think? The generic guys versus the unique guys. Okay, yeah, these are all really easy and recognizable. These ones up here. Oh, God. Right, Estonia is still easy because of that black in the middle. This one, I think, is Latvia. And then I think this one is Austria. I don't even know what that one is. Do you know what? Actually, for some of these, it is literally impossible. We should get the Scandinavian ones though. That'll be Finland, Sweden, Iceland, and Norway. Possibly. I'm probably wrong. Oh, look at that Ukrainian landscape. That is beautiful. Flags I saw on my walk home. 217 Union flags. Alright, this was 26 days ago, so I guess it was around the time of the Jubilee where there was a bunch of like street parties and stuff. My street was so proudly miserable. It was amazing. There was one Union flag and that was it. I've never been more proud. <laughs> Oh my god, saw this German flag on a white background today. This image does not deserve to be in a video titled Flags I Find Beautiful. What is happening there? It's like you thought it was a PNG, but it's actually a JPEG. How does that happen? Oh, I hate it! <laughs> oh, look at that. Flag of Zeleznogorsk, a city in Russia. Great pronunciation, Jack. That is so cool. There's a yellow bear. He's got string all wrapped around him. And what's he doing? Is he trying to break into a skull? <laughs> what? That is so overly badass. What a flag. Oh my Oh my god. Oh, Thailand's flag under an absolute monarchy. I don't know the logic behind it, but it's a very beautiful, very striking flag. Maybe a bit too much, if anything. Gives Independence Square yesterday. All nations, we need your military equipment and personnel, please. And then they're literally, like, calling for assistance from all of these countries. Yeah, even though there's a lot less press about it these days, it is still a terrible situation in Ukraine, and hopefully things improve soon. Okay, Belgium at NATO tweeted, time to test your knowledge of the Alliance. Do you know what the blue in the NATO flag stands for. I'm not even sure I know what the NATO flag looks like. Right, okay, there it is. Do we think it stands for the Northern Sky, Trust and Responsibility, the Atlantic Ocean, or the Eyes of SG Stlottenberg? I think it stands for Trust and Responsibility. Oh, I was wrong, it's the Atlantic Ocean. That's fair enough. For some reason I thought it was more of a Europe thing, but it's not. Canada and US are obviously part of NATO. Celtic Union found in a Breton restaurant. Oh, uh, do you know what? I need to acknowledge how epic the Isle of Man flag is. Look at how weird and epic that is. Looks like a 300 year old West African flag, but it's not. It's a bloody Isle of Man. Little island in the British Isles. Anyone know this flag? Oh, it's transparent. That's disgusting. It looks like a blue blob on some cling film. I hate it. Transparency on flags is something I didn't know I needed in my life. Get out of time. It looks awful. Flags of the biggest subdivisions in the world. Okay, so subdivisions meaning a section of a country that perhaps has its own government. Kind of like a bigger version of a county or a state. So the Republic of Saka in Russia. Very, very nice flag. Western Australia. Oh, they've got a little black swan on their flag. I like that. The Greenland flag, I do think, is very epic. Kind of feel like it'd look better blue rather than red, though. Look at the Nunavut flag. I think I like it. I'm not sure I do. The Alaska flag's also very cool and different. The Quebec flag, I'm not convinced about it. Sorry if you're watching, Quebec. Oh my god, no way. The original Pride flag and the sewing machine it was sewn on. So this is an actual museum. I want to read the text. I want to learn about the original Pride flag. It goes back to 1978 when the artist Gilbert Baker, an openly gay man and drag queen, designed the first rainbow flag. Baker later revealed that he was urged by Harvey Milk, one of the first openly gay elected officials in the US, to create a symbol of pride for the gay community. That is so cool, as if you can actually go visit it, and the sewing machine as well. Shout out to Gilbert.
but go on. Hugh Christiansen, the designer of the current flag of Greenland, which has been in use since 1985, died yesterday. Oh, I kind of feel bad for saying that I think it should be blue now. Rest in peace. It's a great flag. I take it all back. All the flags I saw on my trip to Wellington, New Zealand. You saw five Maori flags. Maori flags, pretty cool. You saw a bunch of Ukrainian flags, Samoa flag. Yeah, people told me in the comments of my last GeoGuessr video that there's a lot of people from Samoa that now live in New Zealand, so that's why the flags turn up. Chile, Italy, Ireland, China, German Empire, United Kingdom, white flag, Hungary, Ukraine, Poland, Brazil, Switzerland, New Zealand times 13. Oh, and Ottoman Empire times one as well. These little keep and count of your flag things, they're very fun. I did my own version in London, which was great, it was a really fun day. Maybe I should do it again in like Paris or something, what do you think? <laughs> What is this? When you really love the Tongan flag. So this was in Auckland, New Zealand. <laughs> oh my god, why? Why? Look at the walls of the... <laughs> Seems weird you didn't put one on your wheelie bin. I'm just saying. I commit to the walls of your house, but not your wheelie bin. What's that about? I made flags of Estonia for every season. Oh, well, that's cute, isn't it? I, <laughs> I like it very much. Oh. oh, it's also quite satisfying the way they slide on Reddit. Oh, 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 yeah. They ruined the flag. Wait, what are we looking at? Okay, we've got the Kansas flag here. Is that what the flag... Oh, it's the old flag! That's so much better! This one's just got way too much going on. Look at this stupid sunflower at the top. I'd have brightened up the blue a bit, but I like that one way better. European flags that would be different if Christianity and Islam didn't exist. Oh, this is interesting. So I assume this would be Turkey or no, it'd be Switzerland, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Then we've got Greece. Oh, with like an ancient Greek emblem type thing. The centerpiece has changed on Portugal, and then we've got Turkey. This is really interesting. Georgia. Oh, is that Scotland? Malta without the Malta. Maltese cross that they were given in World War II. Azerbaijan flag looks epic, I like that. Then we've got Serbia, which you wouldn't really notice too much of a difference at first. And finally, Slovakia? Slovakia's got a cross on it, doesn't it? That's a very cool post, I like that. When you see a flag in the wild and it's just perfect. Oh, it's just got just the right amount of wind. Very, very nice, that is beautiful. Flag of Venice flying over a Venetian harbor. Oh, the flag of Venice is pretty wild because it's got these like funny tassels on the end. It's a cool flag, it suits Venice for sure. The ridiculous scale of these flags in downtown Kansas City. You can't even see them. <laughs> They're all shriveled up. Why is the pole so big and the flag so small? <laughs> flag my daughter designed for a homework at school. Oh, and it's all knitted and stuff. That's a very pretty looking flag, isn't it? Very nice. Wow, look at that white flag used by Germans surrendering to the Allies at Marsale in August 1944. Another very cool museum piece. Look at the little stick and everything. Imagine how scared they'd have been having to like waggle that about. Venice flag is back again and you can see it a bit better this time. It's a cool looking flag and it's hung very nice on this building too. Bhutan flag redesign. I like it. Although I like the Bhutan flag how it is, but you've done a very cool little dragon right there. Oh my god, you've made flag brownies. Maybe I should make flag brownies. North Korean flag redesign. <laughs> it suits North Korea. It looks good. I like it. Still haven't done that flag tier list video, have I? And I should do a video redesigning flags. They would both be good. The flag of this small town in Argentina looks like it was designed by one of you guys. <laughs> Weird ass Scotland flag that came on my parcel. Scott land. <laughs> Panama's almost flag rejected by the first president in favor of the current flag. Do you know what? I think the first president made the right decision there. Because they look like testicles, right? They look like hairy testicles. I'm sorry. Or we were all thinking it. Unless it was just me thinking it, in which case I'm really sorry. The most serene republic of San Marino. Oh, look at that. San Marino looks like a pretty place to visit. There will definitely be some European tour geography videos in the future on this channel. Seen in a safari park in Czech Republic. Does anybody know what country this is? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> That's Eswatini, bro. Don't worry about it. We'll have a check of the comments. Kingdom of Eswatini, a small kingdom in southern Africa. That's right. I know stuff. <laughs> Discussion. Gradients on flags. Personally, not a fan of gradient on flags. Solid colours make them look more flaggy. Gradients make them look too computer generated and too modern and then they're also hard to draw by hand. No, no, no. Yeah, and it seems like people are in agreement as well. Hard to draw and hard to saw. Very true. Discussion. Maps on flags. Well, I think it works for certain countries. It definitely works for Cyprus. I reckon you've got a country that's got multiple islands to it, like New Zealand. Um... <laughs> And also thinking about it, those flags work because they're basically the only thing on the flag, whereas this one, it's got like stripes, it's got stars, no thank you. Oh, flag of Uzbekistan and Azerbaijan look very pretty when lined up together. Oh my 
god, they do. It's like they're made for each other. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Italian firefighters dress the Colosseum with the Italian flag to celebrate Italian Republic Day. That is a big flag. What do you do with that flag, though, once you're done with it? Think about how big that would still be when it's folded up. I mean, I guess you could just burn it, and then you've got some firefighters there to look after it. Nepal flag, but it's made with metal. Oh, I didn't even see it. There's the little fella. That's interesting. You don't see that often. Oh, my God. The flag for Little Havana, Florida, adopted in 2018. Surely it doesn't include all of these little flags in it as well. What is going on there? <laughs> oh, my God, it does. What? It's got there's so much going on here. It's got, like, a classic flat art style, but then it's primarily an artist's 3D drawing of it. Whoa, God, there's a cockerel there as well. This is the worst flag I've ever seen. Why don't I just have a US and Cuba flag flat mashup thing and then sew it or print it or whatever and then let that flag waft about? Why are you painting wafts onto a flat flag? He knows how bad that flag is as well, doesn't he? <laughs> Right, we're ending there. I'm sorry. There is nothing beautiful about that flag. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you later.